Welcome to Humber College, North Campus. Uh, so just imagine normally, <laughs> this thing would be buzzing with, uh, with students, but not today, and maybe not even in September, but we're getting closer. Good to be with uh, the Dean of Students, Ian Cruikshank. Good morning, Ian, how are Good you? Good morning, I'm doing well, are how you are you? Miss, are you missing the students? Uh, we are missing the students, absolutely. Um, this place would be buzzing, that, that Starbucks would be well lined up, people would be caffeinated, um, so it's quieter. It's been quieter for about a year, a little more than a year, right? When you look at it, it's like, it's been a year. It's nuts. Yeah. Um, do we know what's happening in September for you guys? We do. Um, we're, we're hopeful and optimistic yeah. that uh, we're going to deliver more in person than we've been delivering in person. Um, you know, the hope was to have kind of 50-50, um, but most students will be kind of a mix of in person and online to get them through the, the next term, and we see it as very much a transitionary term. Um, January will look even better, right? So, Dean of Students. So I'm yeah. assuming you're tapped into how students are doing. Yes. Right. What yeah. are you hearing from them? Like, are they, do, do some of them like it, or like most yeah. just want to be back here? I think, by and large, what you'll hear from students most want to be back here. There are some that this has worked out well for. Um, so students who you know may have childcare needs or what have you, um, this has taken one variable. Moving online, all completely online, takes a variable out of the equation. So I think that's you know in some ways it's made education more accessible, and that's great. Um, but you know, you miss out on aspects of the student experience. You miss seeing your friends and colleagues here. You miss the connections and the networks that you build. Um, you miss all the fun and activity. Um, that was, and that's we're the great thing about post-secondary education, right? Absolutely. That's, that's, that's what I enjoyed so much about. Yeah. What, what, when, when it comes to performance-wise, yeah. how are students doing? Performance-wise, students are doing about as well as they were doing before. So grades are roughly the same. People are, are getting through. People are resilient. Um, but it's different, right? And so I think, you know, what you see um, is a real endeavor on the part of uh, faculty um, and those in the classroom teaching uh, to ensure that they're being flexible and they're meeting students' needs um, throughout the pandemic. And we hope that's something that continues, right? As, as we go, as we leave the pandemic and move into post-pandemic, um, that flexibility and that encouragement um, to see students through is really important. The great thing about the college level, there are some things you can't be doing at home. Right, so there right. are programs that that are up and running, and yep. uh, so we're going to be we're going to be taking a tour today because we're doing the, the fast program. There's some students awesome. here. There's the, uh, the the baking program where there's yep. some students here, yep. and uh, and a few others. Because we're looking so September enrollment is pretty much complete. I guess depending yep. on they're getting they're going to be starting to register for class at the end of July. Yeah. Class in July. Okay. Yeah. And then almost looking ahead by 2022. Packed out. Yeah, well, we're hoping much more vibrant in September, yeah. right? Uh, when, we, when you see what is possible with vaccinations, and yeah. um, we're really encouraging our students to go do that. I was um, going to say that's a perfect lead-in because yep. there's a vaccination clinic. There, there is, right? Yep. And you know, some of your nursing students are taking part in that vaccination. We'll do that. We come back to the Humber College. I'm one left. And welcome back to Humber College. How about this living wall? Right? I got this little tiny little living wall in my kitchen. And then I came in here, I'm like, what? Amazing. So uh, happy to be back here. Happy to be joined by Sandy Felice, who heads up uh, Associate Dean for the nursing program here Correct. At, uh, at Humber College. And there's not too many students around, but there's a lot of activity happening around us. What's going on here, Sandy? So this is our vaccine clinic that we're running in partnership with William Moser Health Systems. Um, we have second year nursing students here who are participating as vaccinators, as screeners, as um, assessment and post-vaccine area supervisors. So they're making sure that the patients that are getting the vaccine are okay after it. Some people get a yeah. little faint and fall. Um, but on the, and also we have some of our practical nursing students here who are doing their community service learning hours, volunteering in the clinic. What's, so. uh, what's it been like for them? going through it's this been experience. Awesome. This is a once in a lifetime thing for Absolutely. Students, right? So it's been really awesome. They've, they've been able to do assessment, teaching, um, the skill of a vaccine because they like to give injections. It's what they like to be a nurse is to give an injection. So it's been really great for them in that regard. They get able to do lots of stuff. Normally, what type of placement would they be? Where would they be going? So they'd normally be in a, a rehab center at a hospital or at a long-term care facility. Those have been less and less because there's a cap on the number of students that can go there. So what we've done is we've split the group. Half of them are in the vaccine clinic. Half of them are in a placement in a hospital. Some of them are doing both. Um, some are only doing the vaccine, but the outcomes are able to meet the same goals that they wanted to at the start of the clinic and at the start of their placement, just a different way. 
Healthcare workers, first responders have been so crucial through this entire experience. What's enrollment been like? It's, it's been awesome. It's through the roof. We have a wait list. We have qualified candidates coming out of high school with 85, 90 average, which hopefully will produce a good product for yeah. us. Because what is, what is the program? How long is the program? It's a four-year degree. Four-year degree. Yeah. Is it September? or is Yeah, it September. Sit no, it's, there's no... Um, alternate entry points, it's okay. September for four years. So we're looking ahead now for anybody, I don't know, high school students or somebody else maybe looking right. for another career. So we're looking September 2022. Correct. For that, okay. We also have a second entry program. So folks who already have a degree of some sort, a lot of health science degrees or kin, they also apply in an accelerated two year de yeah. degree which starts in January. Excellent. So. Um, well, this is, this is very exciting, and it's a nice backdrop too. It's awesome. With, uh, with the the air wall. is so fresh and, yes. and eventually when we, can, when we can take these masks off. We'll oh, I'm to, looking we'll forward be, to we'll, that. Me too. I'm with you, Sandy. Just okay. put a little plug, plug in for people getting vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, very important. It is a very important role, and we're, we're getting there. Our numbers are coming up. We'll continue our tour of Humber College. We'll get into the hospitality because that's another big one that's been hit, but increasing and something called fast. When we come back on Morning Live. Look at this, actual students in the class doing hands-on things. <laughs> I say things because I don't know what they're doing, but luckily we have George, who's uh, one of the program coordinators with the FAST, FAST. program here at Humber. What is Faculty FAST, Faculty of Applied Science and Techno Technology. It is the equivalent of what the universities call uh, Faculty of Engineering, perhaps. Uh, and uh, what, what we offer here is technology level the branches of engineering, the classical ones, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, me electrical engineering, computer engineering, uh, we offer them on the college level, okay? And so electronics is one of them. The universities call it electrical engineering and uh, uh, or, or electrical and computer engineering. But it's so crucial for the students we to be in class rather than doing it virtually. Absolutely, it's one, of those, uh, it's one of those disciplines where you cannot really work unless you, you get trained hands-on uh, as part of your uh, or, or training theories uh, alone and simulation and, uh, you know, is not enough. What kind of, uh, what kind of jobs come out of the, um, from your graduates? For, for, uh, they find jobs in, um, first of all, the, 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 the biggies like uh, the telecommunications uh, uh, carriers, for example, Bell, Be Bell Mobility, Rogers, Telus. Uh, the broadcasters, broadcast networks, okay, like mm -hmm. you part of one. Yeah. Uh, and uh, as, as you know, there's a lot of computer networking in those. Uh, the, the networking is probably the most, the one that's, that's prevailed most recently, the technology that's behind. Technology is always changing that. So how do yes. you keep up on that latest oh, technology? Oh, you've got to have trapped? the personality, us, the teachers and the students, the, part, the kind of personality that doesn't mind change, in fact, sees change not as a threat, <laughs> but, but as an opportunity. So we, we love, we get bored easily with the technologies, so we'll float along. Okay? And there's we always something, because you know there's something new coming. That's right, and that's, that's the exciting part of my job to change, to, to design a new course, to capture the new, the new technology that's coming. Amazing. Uh, how long is the course? How long is the program? Uh, three years. There's oh, also three a two-year version. Years. Okay. Two-year version for technician so, diploma, and the three-year version that gives you the technology diploma. So we're looking to September 2022 for yes. any interested parties. Exactly. Right. Uh, yeah, they're probably in the right process of, uh, <laughs> of, of applying right now. Uh, while well, they have already started like around uh, February, March, yeah. uh, you know. And it will be fun when this classroom is full again. And we're, Absolutely. we're, we're getting there. That's George, very <laughs> nice to meet you. Hope so. Fast program here at Humber College on Morning Life. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to, uh, to Humber College. Listen, hosp the hospitality industry over the past year, it's been really extremely tough. That's, that's a pretty obvious statement. A lot of people have even left that industry. That is opening up an opportunity for many students and any, anybody interested in the field. Happy to be joined by uh, Rudy, who is the uh, Associate Dean for the Faculty of Business here at Humber College. Correct. But within that umbrella is the culinary area yeah. here. Culinary, hospitality, tourism is my cluster of programs. And specifically with the culinary and baking programs, we've been very fortunate to keep the students going, baking, cooking, 
and getting all the uh, right uh, skills that they need. Since September 2020, they Correct. have been able to be in the labs, in, in the classroom, yes. because it is such a hands-on. It's a hands-on program, and the one thing is we reduced the class size by half. We added on additional resources to ensure that you know, it's socially distanced, it is safe, safety is a priority uh, in all the cases. And this being a hands-on program, we need to be able to teach them those skills. They cannot be done over Zoom, they cannot be done in theory. We do have our theory classes online, but all the hands-on practical labs ought to be in the classroom. They need to learn how the equipment works. What's the uh, option for students when it comes to the program itself? How long is it? So we have a one-year culinary certificate, we have a uh, four-semester, two-year baking and pastry program, and a culinary management program. We also have an apprentice cook, an apprentice baking program, and an, a graduate certificate in advanced chocolate and confectionery. There's a lot of these programs around. What sets you guys apart from some of the others? Uh, I think uh, unique uh, equipped labs with uh, outstanding faculty that teach the students the essential employability skills yeah. that they all need to be successful in building that career. And uh, by training and practicing, it is so, so important. And the more time, they're in laps, the better and more confident they will be when they leave into the industry. What are you seeing from the hospitality world as, as far as even enrollment? Yeah. Are you seeing an increase, a decrease? Right now, uh, the last September intake was very strong. It was almost equal to pre-COVID. This year, we also have a January and a September intake. So there's two twice a year they can join the program. So they're in here all, all year round, right? Absolutely. Because there isn't too many classes that are here all year round. So it's nice no. to actually see people yes. here at, an, an at college, right? Because exactly. it yes. is pretty empty, so that's yeah. pretty great. Yeah. And then, um, do, you, we, do you get to eat? <laughs> I have the tough job to obviously <laughs> taste some of those products. But it does, what we have done, and this is unique to also find all the food product that you see here, we donated to 14 different shelters and food banks during the COVID period. So all the food gets connected, it gets redistributed. We work with two food banks in Toronto and uh, Peel region and making sure that none of that food gets wasted in any way, shape or form. The students are taking home their portion and their odd, but we are able to put out about 50,000 plus meals over that time period. That is so essential for those who are work, uh, living with food insecurity. Look at that piece. Yes, please. Great talking with you, Rudy. It's been a great visit to Humber College. Thank you for coming. This morning.